Our final inductee is Tim Campbell. Tim Campbell has been at Stevenson since 1998 and served as the Athletics Direct Report throughout his tenure. Over the last 20 years, the University and Mustang Athletics have experienced tremendous growth. With Stevenson sponsoring 27 varsity sports, up from 14 in 1998, while the purchase of the Owings Mills campus has allowed Stevenson to build Mustang Stadium and Owings Mills Gymnasium. Tim's very good at building teams. And just like when he was a D1 athlete and he was headed up his teams, he's done the same thing here at Stevenson. Uh, and it makes every day kind of exciting. Uh, the face of the university has changed dynamically from when he was first here. And it's, I think, in my opinion, it's because of him. If you talk about you know, our highest category of emeritus, you, it really has to be somebody who is very comprehensive in what their position is at Stevens University and in athletics. Um, you know, athletics has thrived and grown and we've been a model. We've got, went from really the doormat of Division Three to one of the well and highly respected in Division Three. And, you know, that obviously isn't done by one person, but the person who was able to tie board members, presidents, coaches, me, conference people and other people together to make that symmetry was Tim Campbell and and absolutely worthy of the highest honor that we could give in athletics in the Hall of Fame. My father's always believed that if you bring in normal well-rounded people that you'll have success in almost any area whether it's the strategic hires that have taken place or the student body as a whole that philosophy has really allowed Stevenson to thrive over the past couple of years. And what you'll find is a population of students that are not only able to dominate out on the field, but are also able to have tremendous success after graduation. That culture that has been established here at Stevenson is truly something special. It wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for my father. I don't, I don't think that there's been anybody in my tenure here at Stevenson that's been more act, uh, impactful to the institution. It's been an honor being part of his history here. I can't think of anybody that deserves this honor uh, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame than Tim Campbell. He's done his whole career here with class and that never goes out of style. It is my honor to welcome Tim Campbell into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. First of all, there's, uh, there's really no way that I could possibly live up to that introduction. However, what I can easily do is to congratulate uh, my fellow inductees this evening for being recognized as an integral part of the great history and legacy of Stevenson University Athletic Program. Congratulations. Next. Next, I'd just like to say that I've been extremely fortunate throughout my career to be associated with great organizations and outstanding people from whom I learned a great deal. One of my first bosses who happened to be a famous national figure and one of the top executives in the country at that time um, once told me that if I were to learn anything from him, I should always surround myself with people who are much smarter and talented than myself and to create an atmosphere where they can maximize their potential. I've always tried to follow his advice. Stevenson University in general, and Stevens, the Stevenson uh, Athletic Department in particular, have been an incredible success story. And simply put, the reason for that success is the contribution of great people, many of whom are here tonight. It will probably sound a little cliche to talk about the importance of teamwork at a Hall of Fame induction ceremony. However, from the time I started here over 21 years ago, teamwork and creativity have been the critical ingredients to our growth and success. 
I can remember shortly after I started here at Villa Julie at the time, Claire Moore, VP of Student Affairs, called me and asked if I knew anything about athletics, to which I responded, a little. Then she asked me if I wanted to be responsible for the athletic program, to which I responded, yeah, sure, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I guess that was the beginning of trying to turn Villa Julie College into a national leader in Division III athletics. At the time, we had a total of 14 teams with 189 athletes, one grass field with no irrigation system, and a large rock in the middle of it, a gymnasium, and a few tennis courts. I guess we really have changed a little since then. This past year, there were nearly 1,000 participants on a combination of numerous intramural teams, 13 club sports teams, and 27 NCAA Division III teams many of which part participated in postseason play, and eight of which won conference championships. With consistent postseason success from all of our teams and a recent national championship in men's lacrosse, Stevenson is well on its way to becoming a national leader in Division III athletics. I am so happy to be, have played a small part in this major success story. So many people have been part of the team that contributed to these results. Leadership here at Villa Julie and Stevenson have been incredibly supportive from the start. President Carolyn Manuzak supported and approved all my initial request to get the program moving in the right direction. This was followed by President Kevin Manning, a current member of the Hall of Fame who took it to a whole new level by supporting the acquisition of caves, the construction of a first class stadium, gymnasium, sand volleyball complex, and the partnerships with the Park School for the baseball field, the JCC for softball, the McDonough School for swimming, and the Reisterstown Sportsplex for ice hockey and track and field. Interim President Claire Moore and current President Elliot Hirschman are keeping the dream alive by enhancing fitness facilities, club sports, and adding an esports program. All of these major initiatives have had the support of our Board of Trustees including most recently Jim Stratner and Scott Pugach. On any successful team, there's always an MVP, a most valuable player that accomplishes feats that are truly unbelievable. Our team is honored to have such an individual. His name is Howard Brown of David S. Brown Enterprises. Howard has built basically everything here on the Owings Mills campus, Owings Mills North campus, and hopefully the future buildings on the Rosewood campus as well as the pathways that connect all the campuses. I've learned over the years and through many projects that when Howard makes a commitment, you can take it to the bank. So we can thank Howard for the many facilities that we enjoy and hopefully many more yet to come. And next, there is a reason that Melanie Edmondson and, oh, I'm sorry, Melanie Edmondson, Brad Adams, and my son Tim were featured on the video that introduced me. Let me start with Melanie and Brett. We've worked together from my first day here at the university, and they are without a doubt the most loyal, hardworking, and trustworthy teammates that I've ever worked with. They have supported me through the good times and the very challenging times, and I can never thank them enough for all they've done for me. You guys will never know how much you mean to me. Finally, there's my family, one member of which was shown in the video, my son Tim. He's here with his girlfriend, Beth, another successful Stevenson graduate graduate, I couldn't be more proud of Tim, not only because he's a successful graduate of Stevenson with a promising career and prior captaining, captain of the inaugural Stevenson football team, but most importantly, a great young man and son. I'm equally as proud of my daughter, Kristen, who is, who is here this evening with her husband, Matt. Kristen was also an outstanding athlete at Virginia Tech and currently enjoys a very successful career. Obviously, both children are tremendously impressive and clearly take after their mom. Speak, speaking of which, most importantly, the one person who is really responsible for everything I've done well in my life, my ultimate boss, my wife, Mary Beth. Mary, Mary Beth keeps everything together at home, allowing me to concentrate on the many things that are going on around here. Mary, you're the main reason I'm standing up here tonight. Thanks for everything. You're the best. And 
And once again, just thanks again to everyone. I really appreciate it. I've had, I've had a lot of fun here, and it's, it's the people that make it happen. And there's a lot of great people here, and I just appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.